And the frosty ties between Korea and Japan over history and territory have had a negative diplomatic impact across the board, and that includes coordination on trade issues. Our Kwon So Ah says a glint of hope may be on the horizon, as the trade ministers of both countries are set to hold a rare round of talks later this month. They are expected to be the first ministerial level trade talks between Korea and Japan in two years. Korea's trade ministry says the offer to hold discussions came from Japan and that trade minister Yoon Sang Jik and his Japanese counterpart Yoichi Miyazawa have tentatively agreed to sit down on May 24th at the 2015 Boracay APEC meeting in the Philippines. A ministry official said strained relations over historical and territorial issues have severely limited opportunities for the two trade ministers to hold talks. With the time and place seemingly set, the two sides may finally be able to touch on the issue of a possible free trade agreement between Korea and Japan, as well as another three-way deal including China. Talks on the TPP, or Trans-Pacific Partnership, a regional trade pact being pushed hard by the White House, may also be included. Korea's trade ministry says the agenda has yet to be fixed, but the two sides are in the final stages of making adjustments. The last bilateral meeting between the trade ministers of Korea and Japan took place on the sidelines of the 2013 Indonesia APEC meeting. However, Japan's territorial claims over Korea's easternmost Tokdo Island and Tokyo's lack of repentance over its wartime sexual slavery have halted further negotiations. Korea and Japan's economic relations haven't been looking good recently either. Bilateral trade dropped by almost 14 percent in the first quarter of this year, compared to the same period last year. Analysts mainly attribute this to the weak Japanese yen, which is eating into the price competitiveness of Korean products. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.